All right, so if for some reason your Cybertruck lost power and you need to gain access to the frunk, maybe to jumpstart your vehicle, or you just need to open the doors because you're locked inside, let me show you how. Well, obviously if you don't have power, you're not gonna be able to go into this menu, but you can check on your phone and you can find this same stuff online. All right, anyways, you'll go into that, go to the manual. In here, you can see they have this in case of emergency option. So it'll usually be scrolled all the way up here. Just scroll down to the bottom and then go to the, where'd it go? In case of emergency. All right. So you can see they have all these different menu stuff here, depending what you're looking for. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, obviously you can check how to jump start, but in order to jump start, you need to know how to open the frunk. Okay. So here's how to do it if you don't have power. This only works if your car's uh, low voltage battery is dead or for some reason it's not getting any power. So don't worry about people being able to use this as a way to get into your frunk, okay? This won't let them get in unless for some reason your battery's completely dead. And if your battery's completely dead, either you're not driving your car or it's on a lot like dead somewhere, okay? Anyway, so here you go. We're gonna skip all of this. You can read it if you want. But basically, we're going to get access to these little two jumper cables. And you need to have like a power jumper. A 9-volt battery won't be good enough. Most likely, it's not going to provide enough power to release the latch. Okay? It tells you all that stuff here. And here you can see um, it'll give you warnings about if you're using a variable power supply, what voltage to set it to. And make sure you don't accidentally change it. All right? So anyways, I'm not going to be... Um, using a jumper to do this, but I'll show you how to get to these cables. So, first things first, okay, here you can see you want it between 9 volts and 16.5 volts, like a 12 volt portable jump starter or another vehicle, you can use their 12 volt battery system to uh, open the thing up, all right? And then, or you can use a 30 volt, um, between 30 and 50 volt uh, power source. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. They actually tell you in here, under the front left tire area, um, you have access to this little cover and then you can pull these cables out. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. So you just go outside of the driver door, okay? And in here, you'll see, all right, it's a little bit hard to get to, but or hard to see, but there's this rubber cover thing right here, okay? So you need to get your fingers in there, okay? You can see, I don't know if you can see, I'm getting part of it down with my thumb. So basically you pull this in towards the center and down, just like that. You can also go from the back side too, like that. Okay, now you get this whole thing that you pull down and you'll want to pull, you wanna figure out which side to pull. So this side has flack, you'll pull on this. Okay, and here you can see, now we have access to these wires. So here's the red and here's the black. You basically just jump this and it will pop open or the latch will unlatch and it will allow you to open up the frunk, all right? That's if the 12 volt um, or the low voltage battery system is dead, all right? It's not a 12 volt system actually, it's a 48 volt. So yeah, anyways, then you wanna put this back obviously because you don't wanna just leave it hanging out there, okay? You can find the hole and then you just shove it all back up in there, okay? So you might have to pull it in towards the center as you're pushing it up or push it in towards the center because you got to squeeze that part to make it go in. And that's pretty much it for the frunk. All right, so now what do you do if your door um, lost power? Okay, so this, the reason why they don't make it easy to access, um, at least on the back, on the front it's easy to access and I've had uh, people sit in my car and pull it thinking that's how you open the door. So basically I'm gonna roll down the windows a little just because I don't want it to have any risk of pushing out the trim up here. So you basically just pull this. So this is the electric unlatch. This is the manual. So this, even if you're on the freeway, highway, if you pull this, the door is gonna open, okay? So you just pull this and you can see I can push the door open. All right, let me do it again. I'll zoom out, okay? Pull this and it will open. The reason you don't want to use this um, like as a daily like opening door thing is because if there's no power or if you do it fast, this won't roll down all the uh, roll down enough before the door comes out and it can result in pulling this out, okay? Because normally, if I roll the window up, if you look at this, 
you see the window goes underneath here. So if there's no power and you just open it, it's basically gonna make the window come out and push on that. Okay, so that's how you do the um, driver and passenger door. Now, what about the rear passengers? So, whoops, if you're a rear passenger, what you do, okay, this one, obviously, if you don't know how the car works, you're gonna be like, where is it? There's no handle here, here. But down here, there's this little rubber piece. Set that aside, you see this yellow? You just pull on that. And there you go, the door opens, okay? Let me do that again, okay? You see that yellow thing? Pull on that. And then you can push the door out with your elbow. And again, oops, I hope I'm not messing up my door. So again, you do want to have your window rolled down a little bit because that can cause some damage. But usually if there's power to the car, it'll actually also roll down the window. So let me, I don't know if I can show this, but if I pull the yellow thing, you see it rolls the window down. Okay, so when there's power to the car, it will roll the window down for you. Okay, now if you're wondering what about in the um, truck bed, <coughs> excuse me, what about in the truck bed? What if you're trapped in there? Okay, so let me show you here. Or how about I trap myself in there just to show you. Okay, so we'll close this guy up. The one thing with this, so let me close this and hope it doesn't smash my head. The one thing with this is now you're in pitch blackness. So unless you know where it is, you're gonna be like, where am I going? Where am I going? Okay, so let me turn on the flashlight and show you how this works. Oh, I can't do it while the ultra wide, give me a second. There we go, I forgot. Okay, so all the way in this corner, next to the outlets here, you have this. So if you're feeling in the dark, you can easily feel this, okay? And if you're scared about not knowing where it is, you can even leave this off. But basically, pull this out. You see these two straps here, okay? So you pull these two straps, just pull it, and you can see the door comes down, all right? And that's pretty much it. You do wanna test this because when I first got my truck, the wires here had like a kink to it and then it didn't work, I was testing it. So you do wanna test all of these features um, in your Cybertruck before you just depend on them, okay? So make sure Test both sides, both passenger doors. You wanna make sure that those release latches work. I tested all of them already, so I should be okay, all right? Again, if you lose power, that's how you get out. You're not gonna be trapped in there, okay? And you can open the front, you can open the all four doors, and you can open the back. The only thing you can't do is roll the tonu cover up, but I mean, that's the least of your worries if you're stuck and you have no battery, right? your car is not going to work. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully this helped you guys out, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.